Well, hello there. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Twisted Beanstalk. So I'm doing something completely different today. I've never actually done a voiceover. So I'm like, ooh, look at me. I know. Congratulations, Bean. Congratulations. I'm a bit late to the show as usual, right? Story of my life. Um, anyways, I wanted to just come on here and have a topic because I was prepping 12 heads. I believe it's 12 heads that I actually just got from McPherson's and they're so cute. Wait till you guys see them. I was just prepping them all at the same time. So I thought I would just record it because I like to watch documentaries while I'm painting. And I thought, well, what the heck? I might as well just come on here and, um, yeah, try a voiceover. So that is the McPherson's little, I believe they're called Hope. Um, I am prepping the vinyl with a glazing gel, Genesis Thinner, Thinner, and uh, some linseed oil with a little bit of color in there. So very basic. I do like using a sponge as well. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I've been using this yellow sponge to kind of just go through it and... Um, make it a little more coarse, more coarse, more rough, I guess you could say, because these are going to be very fantasy babies. I want to make sure that when I do the other layers, it really absorbs the color. So, and another thing, just uh, in case you guys didn't know, when I talk while I'm painting, I'm a slightly bit slower, but when I talk normally in person, I do talk quite fast. So hopefully everybody can keep up. I don't know. It's like my motor just goes and I'm like, calm down me, but it's like, blah, 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 blah. just kind of goes like that. So anyways, uh, yeah, so let's get started on a topic. I actually just wanted to come on here and let you guys know about custom orders. I feel like it's such a good topic to talk about because there are certain rules that I follow as far as being a custom artist. I really like doing custom orders. I always have. Um, so let's see. There are some rules that I follow, like I said. Oh, sorry, I had a hair on my screen there. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys that I have been doing custom orders for years. Um, I really enjoy doing them. I make a lot of different kinds of dolls. So it is quite easy for me to go back to reference for that specific doll if somebody wants to buy that specific one and I can recreate it for them. Um, so before you get into custom orders, I would suggest you build reviews and get a very good reputation going. Customs are not for everybody. Some people, some artists prefer doing prototypes. Some artists just... just want to do you know dolls that they make just for fun um some take custom orders and blah 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 okay so i am one of those artists that love taking custom orders so basically i would say you have to have the personality for it you cannot be an arrogant artist where people want to make a custom order with you and you think that they should be so grateful that um you know they they should be so privileged to own your work you shouldn't have that kind of personality because you always want your customers to be comfortable and happy and you know respectful you want to respect your customers because after all they're your customers and you want them to return you want other what to return and so you really depend on those good reviews to to build your rapport so with that being said, um, that would be my number one rule is you have to be very good with people. You have to have good people skills, business school, uh, blah, 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 business skills <laughs> and artistic skills. So I would say start from there. Um, make sure that you've reborn for quite a while before you start putting out custom orders because you don't want people to be upset or miserable. And, you know, you you it's it's everything you're re you're reputation is everything you want to guard your reputation no matter what because um, that's going to make you or break you so you're you always want to have your customers in mind right you always want to treat them great treat them good and I mean you're gonna sometimes every so often you'll run into issues and that's fine but that's the business part of it and so when it comes down to stuff like that you just want to iron out the kinks and um be professional if you're not professional and you're like oh whatever here's your doll this is what you ordered be gone then <laughs> it's not going to be a very good career for you so I would say definitely the personality, the business, um, you want to be, you know, the backbone of your business. So there's that for custom orders. So there's a few ways that I do payments and um, have dolls that I make that are in order. 
And so basically the system that I stick to just works really well for me. I've done it years for this way. I'm comfortable with it. And um, it seems to work for everybody else as well. So this is how I do things. I basically, now I'll make dolls in between to kind of keep up the creativity and be motivated. And you just have to have that side doll that you're working on because otherwise you're just going to be like, oh, it's work. You know, even though you're doing something that you love, it's still will t bring that work into it. And you'll be like, oh, you know, I really want to make this doll or this doll. So I like to make it a balancing act. And so I'll basically make Reborns in between my custom orders. When I first started, I never wanted to make videos. And um, here I go off on a big tangent. But I never wanted to make videos of painting dolls. And the big reason is because people who order custom, they'll be like, why are you working on my doll? And you know, how come mine isn't next? Or how's my baby? How's my baby? How's my baby? Which is fine. People do ask that and I totally respect that. And I answer them and that's great. I'm glad that they, you know, are checking in. But you get all kinds of customers. Some like you never hear of. They're like, here's my money. And then you don't hear from them for a while. But then there's people who ask every, you know, so often and stuff. And that's the professionalism that has to come in and be patient with people because everybody's different. Everybody has different personalities and attitudes. So, Anyways, let me get back to the whole, uh, let's see, I already forgot what I was talking about. What the heck? Um, about the, oh yeah, making videos. So basically, I was afraid of people being like, you know, where's my custom order? So this is my answer to people who wonder about stuff like that or how the order goes. So being creative and having that natural ability to kind of just balance things, what I do is... I almost have like a file cabinet inside my head. I know which what payments are due. I know which ones are coming out. I know which ones are before. Sometimes I finish them really fast or sometimes they're a little more delayed to get started. And it all comes down to how I'm feeling, how I'm feeling creatively. But with that being said, I do like to get my custom orders done with in 16 weeks. I think that it is so important to get your customs done in a manly time. I don't think that it should take years for you to do custom orders. I can't imagine people waiting a couple of years, you know. It's like, I mean, if I were to go buy a reborn, they'd be like, oh, it's going to take three years for you to get it. Like, I mean, there's so many things that happen within three years. I would be like, no, um, I don't, I'd rather just keep my money, thanks. But um, so I like to get them done in a a, you know, a decent amount of time. So basically, as far as the timeline goes, there's some people who pay up front and they're just like, boom, here's my money. I'd like my doll really fast. And sometimes they can be fast tracked. And that's okay as long as you're balancing other dolls. So you're working on them gradually as you're working as on the ones that get bumped up in line. Um, that doesn't happen a lot. But if you're going to do that, make sure that you're going to be able to stick to your word. You don't want to take somebody's money and then them be like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and excuse after excuse after excuse. If you tell a customer that you're going to have a doll done a specific time, make sure it's done, period. So there's a lot of people that put their dolls on layaway. The dolls that I sell in between, I just sell them, boom, like that on Etsy. But the custom orders, a lot of the time people will leave a deposit, which is th um, usually around $350 or half down and payments have to be made over 16 weeks. They have to be paid off within 16 weeks. The majority of the time people pay them off before that timeline. And if they do, I can get it done faster. Like I said, I like to balance them in between to make sure that everybody's happy and everybody is getting their baby when they're supposed to, you know, get it. And um, again, you know, two, three years for a custom order, I can't imagine. I just, I would not be in business <laughs> if that were the case. So I do do this full time. Um, people do look at my reviews and they're like, okay, we can, you know, Bean's trustworthy. We know that we can get our baby. It could be on social media. We'll see updates and, you know, we're going to get what we paid for. So anyways, um, so they'll pay half down and then I would say 16 weeks. And within that uh, amount of time, a lot of people, I don't even send out invoices. A lot of people just be like, I made a payment or I'm making a payment. Um, I've been extremely lucky. I have to say like the years that I have been a reborn artist, it has been amazing. I have amazing customers. I have returning customers. And I think that basically it comes down to respect as well. You know, it's it's a balancing act and it's a business act, but then also you gain relationships with people 
And um, you just want to maintain that that really good reputation. Again, reputation, reputation, reputation. Reviews, reviews, reviews. So as far as custom orders go, you know, people do base it on that. But then I do have returning customers. And like I said, I have great, um, I've had great, great situations. If it's just not feeling right, or if it's the doll that you don't want to make, or maybe maybe you just are not into making that specific one, then... Or maybe you're like packed with custom orders. I think that you really have to be responsible about it and not take people's money if you're not able to perform what they're asking. So if you're not into it and you don't have the time, then don't take people's money. I mean, it's hard not to take money, trust me. But if you can't deliver, it's be- it's better to just not deliver. Say, I'm t- you know, I'm sore. I'm just not into making that kid. I'm too busy. Or not even that you're too busy, but just, you know, let them down lightly. <laughs> But um, hopefully I'm not rambling on too fast for you guys and going from place to place to place. I'm pretty sure I am, though, because that's just the way that I talk. So, uh, yeah. So I basically, you know, it really comes down to uh, just responsibility of making your customer happy. And again, don't be taking money if you're thinking that that person is so privileged that they should automatically have to wait and be fine with it and they're just gonna have to take what you give them and and that's it I think it's just a horrible horrible way all the way around so if it's gonna be for a business then you know you gotta, you need to be respectful so also um so basically 12 you know 12 16 weeks is a timeline that I like to be done with when it's show time I'll balance between custom orders ones that I want to make and show dolls so I ha- I have triple the amount to work but like I said my head is like a file cabinet I print out all my invoices I keep track of everything and everybody's dolls but it's just a natural ability of for mine which is crazy cuz I don't remember what I did yesterday but I can remember every single doll that I've been working on and and what I have to do and and this and that I don't know I don't know you guys my brain is just broken but I go by what I have in my head like I have six dolls right now that are hanging up by my chair and I know basically how long I have to make them and like the deadline and you want to be before the deadline but if it gets stretched out it gets stretched out and like I said I have had really really good um, a great career doing custom orders. So I don't know about other people and running into issues. And So for the most part, you just want to be respectful of other people's feelings. If they're paying you, you need to just uh, step up to the plate and do what you're supposed to do and, you know, deliver what they've paid for. But I hope that you guys have learned something from this video. Um, I hope you guys are all being safe out there. And it was really fun doing a voiceover. Actually, I could stay on topic a, a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so thanks for listening. And for the new artists out there, make sure you build your reviews and your reputation and have fun making babies, especially in this time right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.